In this video, we will look at solving interest problems by organizing our information in the interest table. The equation to calculate simple interest over one year is the principal, or amount invested, is multiplied by the interest rate as a decimal, and that will equal the amount of interest in dollars we have earned. Just like with value problems, we will solve using an equation that comes from the last column. Let's take a look at some examples where we can organize our information in a table just like this. In this problem, we see Sophia investing in two accounts. We know that the principal times the rate is going to equal the interest. Her first investment is 1900. That's her starting amount or principal. Her second investment of $1,500 is at an interest rate that is 3% higher. To show 3% higher, we have to add or increase the rate, which we don't know, so let's call it x, by 3% or 0.03 when written as a decimal. This x is the unknown interest rate from the first account. Again, we multiply principal times rate to calculate interest. 1900x is the amount of interest earned in the first account, and when we distribute in the second, we get 1500x plus 45. The only other piece of information we need is the $113 in total interest. That's the total interest when the two interest accounts are added together. We can now pull an equation off that last column. 1900x plus 1500x plus 45 is going to equal the total amount of interest we've earned, 113. We can start solving by combining like terms to get 3400x plus 45 equals 113. Subtracting 45 from both sides, we get 3400x equals 68. Finally, dividing by 3400 tells us that x is equal to 0 0.02. x was the interest rate assigned to the $1900. So we have $1900 at this first interest rate. 0 0.02 as a percent is 2%. The other amount, the $1,500, is at a rate 3% higher, or 5%. Let's take a look at another example where we set up our information in a table and solve the question. In this problem, Carlos is investing $2,500 into the first account. The second account's only $1,000, but it's at a rate 4% less. This means we're subtracting from our unknown rate, 4%, or 0.04. The first account is that unknown rate. When we multiply principal times rate, we get the interest in the first account is 2500x, and when we distribute in the second account, we get 1000x minus 40. We also know the total interest in this account is 345 when we add the two in interest together. Again, this last column becomes our equation, 2500x plus 1000x minus 40 equals 345. Start solving by adding 40. Whoops, how about we combine like terms first? 3500x minus 40 equals 345. Now we'll add 40 to both sides. 3500x equals 385. Dividing both sides by 3500, we find out that x is equal to 0.11. x is that $2500. This means $2,500 was invested at 0.11, or as a percent, 11%. The other account, the $1,000, was invested in a rate that was 4% less. 4% less than 11 is 